everybody. So today I thought I'd show off a few of my all-time favorite action figures that I have in my collection. Before I do that, I do want to say um, in my last video I mentioned about maybe doing some kind of fundraiser to raise uh, enough money to pay for the international shipping or even domestic shipping for the giveaway prize packages that I run. And I decided to go ahead and do that. I did set up a Patreon uh, page, which I'll put the uh, link to that in the description of this video and in every video, you know, that I make after this. But I decided to use Patreon because I know a lot of people on YouTube use it. And I just thought it'd be a good place to start because I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff. So from my understanding, since I set up a monthly uh, program, that anyone can donate, I think, however much you want monthly, and then I'll just put that towards paying for the shipping and handling costs of the giveaways. And if I get enough money that way, I'm going to go back to doing at least monthly giveaways if I can, because that's preferably what I'd like to do, because I get so many toys and I'd like to give more of them away. And so that's what I plan to do if I get enough money. And I set the goal at like $100 a month, but even if I just get like $20 or $30 a month coming in, that would be probably enough to pay for the shipping for at least one giveaway, um, even if it's international. So um, even if I only get that much, I can probably start hopefully doing them monthly. M monthly. <laughs> but I just wanted to explain that to everybody. And um, I guess you can check out the Patreon page if you want to. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description of this video. And if anybody supports me, I really appreciate it. And it's just a fun way to hopefully, um, you know, share more of the toys with the world. And also, uh, I may start doing an occasional, like, patron-only giveaway where if I get enough people who are patrons, I'll just put their names in a giveaway and I'll pull one of those so it'll be kind of like a reward if you are a patron. And like I said, I think you can like, you know, donate as little as like a dollar a month. I'm not positive, but I think from what I've heard that you can do that. So you might want to check it out if you want to support me in that way. And now on to the action figures. Sorry about that little spiel. So let's go ahead and first I'll look at this one. It's a Sully action figure from the, F, uh, from the uh, X-Files series, the original series. And I found this at a Goodwill thrift store and I always wanted a Sully action figure and it was only like two bucks. So I got it and it comes with like the little FBI tag and you know, just plain black clothing. She has a little, the little cross necklace. Um, I mean, it's well made. It actually came with a, like, a dead body and a gurney, uh, since, you know, she works on dead bodies. But I can't find the gurney and the dead body. I hope I didn't lose them somewhere along the way, but I may have. Um, when I moved, I seem to have lost a lot of things. I'm not sure what happened to everything, but maybe it got put in the wrong box or whatever. But, uh, so, she's one of my favorite action figures that I have, because I do love the original X-Files. And then this is an Edgar Allan Poe action figure. And Edgar Allan Poe is my favorite writer of all time. And since, you know, I love to write and I love to read, that's a big deal to me personally. And so I was happy to get an Edgar Allan Poe action figure. And, I mean, it's nothing too, like, exciting. I mean, his arms bend and, you know, his legs move and stuff. And, you know, it's just a classic silhouette of Edgar Allan Poe with, you know, his classic clothing style and a little raven on the shoulder. But I really like it and, you know, it just makes me happy because I love Edgar Allan Poe, so that's one of my favorites. And then uh, lastly, this is, um, this is the character that Johnny Depp played in the Sleepy Hollow movie, Ichabod Crane. And I love Johnny Depp. I'm a huge Johnny Depp fan. And I like his creepy movies the best. Like, I like um, Sleepy Hollow. I like uh, um, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. I can't think of the actual name of it, but you guys probably know if you're into Johnny Depp movies. Um, Edward Scissorhands. I like all that kind of stuff, and I love just the work he does with Tim Burton. I think him and Tim Burton are like a match made in heaven, which obviously they are because they keep making stuff together. But um, this this figure, it comes with like a little coat, and I think the coat is removable, but I've never actually taken it off because I just keep them in like the condition that they come in. So 
that's the actual character. And I do have some of the accessories from that. I have his little, like, medical bag because in the uh, movie, he's kind of like a medical examiner detective kind of guy. And as you see, you can open, like, the front bit and it shows some stuff in there. And then inside, I've stuffed some of the little tools that it came with. So it just came with some of his odd contraptions that he, you know, created, which if you've seen the movie, then you know what I'm talking about. He was also an inventor. He created some weird kind of uh, things to figure out mysteries, I guess. A little gun. And then, and some of the stuff really, it's got like a kind of a steampunk kind of look to it, which I like. I like steampunk punk, uh, design. And then it also comes with, this is like his little, uh, I guess, lab set. So that's pretty cool. And these are like his little glasses that he puts on when he's going to examine things closer. And then it also came with a couple of his books. Uh, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, which I thought was interesting that they included that. And then uh, the blue one, I don't think it actually has a title on it, or if it does, it's like so tiny, you can't really read it. But, so I love the books too, I just think they're really cute, and you know, I'm a book lover anyway. And I love the uh, original Legend of Sleepy Hollow book by Washington Irving. So, oh, oops, I knocked it over. But those are some of my favorite action figures in my collection. And maybe I'll try to show some more of my, like, classic collection in other videos. I know mostly I do, like, new hauls and opening new toys and, you know, doing reviews and stuff. But I think it's fun sometimes to go through stuff I've had for a long time and share some of my favorites out of that. So let me know if you guys like this, if you like me showcasing some of, you know, the older stuff in my collection that I just have never had a chance to show on YouTube. And uh, I guess that's it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see y'all later. So have a great day. Bye.